What it do, trappers? We are back with another episode. This is the fog light episode. Uh, I'm going to show you the lights we picked up. Uh, here we go. Let's see if we can get them in here so you can see them. Uh, there we go. That's what they look like. Uh, they're divided, just two sets. I have a pack here open. I'll show you the guys' the actual lights. Uh, I figure I'll show you the package. Uh, these are LED highlights, I guess. Uh, performance lighting. Alpina makes them. Uh, these are white. Uh, comes with uh, 3M whatever stuff, you know. And uh, Elite, I'll show you the guys what's actually in the package here in a minute. Uh, 12 bucks, 13 bucks off the shelf at Walmart. Uh, I picked up two packs for what I want to do. Uh, so this is the light, guys. This is the actual light that's in there. Give you guys a close up of that. The, they are real nice and sealed. Uh, they're metal actually it's got some sort of metal housing probably some sort of aluminum but uh I'm assuming it's probably as thick as you can see here it's probably eighth inch thick uh, aluminum uh, the backs of the lights are sealed uh, what's in the package is just the two lights and some of that 3M double sided adhesive uh, so that's supposed to do the trick the back of the lights where the light uh, the wire connectors come out uh, I don't know if you can see on camera but uh, they are hot glued so they should be waterproof they should be okay uh, moisture shouldn't bother them uh, I'm gonna show you where we're gonna install them so let's check this out guys I got my shed lights on under glows on you should be able to see real nice alright guys this is running right now I was letting the heat run uh, you can see this is my uh, hood LED uh, I have a LED here in the grill well I guess I did have but as you can see most of those lights have went out on me uh, they actually did really good they weren't waterproof uh, and they took the brunt of a lot of ice and snow and just cold rain and they really really did work good until the ice came once the ice came that kind of did them in other than that most of them I think the majority of them, almost all of them, were uh, were illuminating and working. So uh, this LED strip's done, but there's a switch inside the cabin for it. I have over on the driver's side. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and power that switch off the lights here in the grill. So those lights in the grill are gonna come out. That power terminal is gonna drop down. I'll show you down here where I'm actually going to install them here on the truck if you see here a lot of people got put them right here or a lot of guys do uh, on the SS models this is all painted up a different color and I think this is like a air intake for the brakes but on the standard issue uh, there's a tow package with hooks that come out here for that and then the fog lights are generally here so what I'm gonna do here guys uh, real simple I'm just gonna drill a hole in here and in here to let the, wa the wire pass through on the back side and then uh, we're just going to wire it in on, on the same power lead uh, I'll run a wire across and uh, I'll get it uh, waterproof taped up on the back side so that way it's not going to come off or anything and then we'll do the same here on this side and uh, hopefully uh, the 3M tape will adhere to that and stick okay if not I'll have to doctrine another solution but uh, we're going to try that out and see how that goes, guys. But before we mount the 3M tape to this area, I'm going to clean it up. I'll probably use some alcohol, clean it up real good. I may even take a heat gun to it for a minute since it's a little chilly out here. And uh, that'll heat it up, clean it up, heat it up, and maybe I'll get a good, uh, good adhesion, a good adhere with my, uh, with my tape there, the chemical. So that's what we're looking at, guys. We're going to get that wired up. That's coming. This is really, really simple. It should be. I'm sure that this is probably loud to, to hear. So uh, I think this is one of the power leads for it is right here. Comes in. I can't remember exactly how I've got it led into here. This box is for my headlight RGB LEDs, which I have this side that works. This side during the winter has stopped working. Um, I haven't been into it to diagnose it to see why. Uh, before all this corona and shutdown stuff, I had uh, planned maybe here in a week or so to going to get the actual headlight bulbs 
that are the RGB and the color change. So I may have to put that off for a while, guys. I may be able to repair these and get these to do what they're supposed to do. And if so, we'll keep them for a while. But if not, we'll probably pull them out of there and that'll be a dead project for now, guys, until all this stuff passes over and we get through all that. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is my main power lead here for that light. That's where it connects off into, let's see, it would be my lead here, this one. And I think that just runs up. Wow, there's crap in here. It just powers in here somewhere. So, really, I'll probably just connect here, pull that light off, drop a lead down, over and across. It probably really will be that simple. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to change this light or not. It looks like all of these lights light up almost. But almost, I kind of don't like. So, maybe I'll just replace this white one. Uh, wow, it's actually not too bad, I guess, but I'll probably replace this since these don't all light up, but uh, that I think I'm going to put an RGB strip in there, so that uh, flashes and does all the nice stuff that my other lights do. The light back here that's underneath the lip behind the hood, I think that'll go as well, and we're going to wire in another RGB LED strip back there. You see my engine's a little dusty, a little dirty. I haven't done anything to it this season as far as cleaning it up. Nothing like that. I've done zero work under here so far this year. But uh, we'll get back in here. We'll get all this plastic cleaned up. Like, you know, that last year was nice and clean. So we'll get that all cleaned back up, looking nice, shiny black. And uh, I think there may be a project here for this air intake. I've been eyeballing it for a minute, guys. I've been checking it out. Uh, I just kind of want to wrap up some of these other projects before I make up a bunch more. But this may be a project if the corona stuff blows over and we can all get back on and get back to schedule. But if not, that'll be stalled for a minute. But uh, that'll be a real nice project. That will incorporate some RGB strips as well. You're probably thinking, man, how the hell is he going to do that? But believe me, I have my ways. Man, I can hear somebody bumping a little bit here. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's that little bitty car. It, uh, not really any bass. It just kind of rattles, uh, their license plate. It's kind of funny, kind of cute. They probably got 110 in there or something. A couple hundred watts. But hey, if that's what does it for you, that's all you need. Nothing wrong with that. I, uh, on the other, other hand, prefer a little more myself. You can see what we like here. Right there, that's the King Kong project. That's right. Thing straight beating like a drunk stepdad I'm telling you man it's insane I can't wait to get you guys a clip of that maybe I can sneak off during this quarantine they say that you know things by yourself solo activities outside are permitted so maybe I'll get out by myself and uh, get you guys an audio test where maybe we're not going to disturb anybody there shouldn't be anybody at really at work so that's kind of good I suppose you see that the uh, bag of projects there, it's dwindling down a bit, but we got all the amps there. They had to be up away, so that way when the seats go up, that amp clears the top of these, elsewise they're folding over each other. But without further ado guys, I'm going to get into this a little bit, and uh, get this drilled, get that wire to lead down to where I need it get this old LED out and get the new ones in. So that's what we're gonna look at, guys. And uh, as I make progress, I'll take some clips, keep you guys updated. Um, as you get warmer, it won't be clips. I'll probably just put the camera down and then we'll do time lapse and I'll edit, you know, maybe pieces out that aren't so boring. But you'll, you get to see me do more. Plus we'll be more active and it'll be interacting and more socializing with people and more of doing things out and about, I hope. So, I don't know about as far as how long we're supposed to practice social distancing, but uh, I think that's only going to hold up so long. People aren't going to have that forever, I believe. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it for this clip. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, we'll be back here in just a couple moments with the rest of this project. We stand out like bird shit on a black shoe.